Hey guys, what's up? It's Xuperus here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 5 of Kimi Toboku. So far, it's been quite fun and interesting once Tachibana and some of the other characters got introduced. A lot more liveliness and interesting things have been going on. We're getting to see a lot of their backstories as well. So hopefully in this one, uh, it, will it will just continue with that trajectory, right? So without further ado, let's get on with it. Uh, this is episode 5 of Kimi Toboku. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. Okay, so it's summer break. Oh, that's that's that looked delicious. Oh, the heat and the humidity must be killing her. But where is she going? Okay, Shun has shorter hair in the opening. Does that mean he's going to cut his hair soon? Or maybe in this episode? Because it's already summer, right? It'd be very difficult to keep the long hair. It's going to be very hot. It'll make it very sweaty. Who are all of these other characters, by the way? Wait, what's happening? What's he doing? That's a gun, though. What's happening? <laughs> no explanations at all. Oh, okay, they're playing a game. Okay. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh my gosh, a foot in the door. <laughs> and Shin. The only one who can't refuse, probably. <laughs> Instead, actually invites him. Alright. It's a cooking show. Oh, okay. He really looks like a girl. What in the world is happening here? <laughs> okay, back to the initial dilemma. It's a trap. It was a trap from the very beginning. <laughs> okay, where... Where has she been? Oh, she was chopping? Buying a watermelon? Shun-chan. <laughs> 
Okay. He technically invited everybody else. Of course. softens up for Shun. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought she was gonna have a much more delusional fantasy. <laughs> So we do get a little bit of romance here, though not exactly what I had hoped for, but yeah. This is the best that we can get out of this. Because she likes him, bro. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, he just figured it out. It's pretty obvious, but the guy's just so dense. He's just so oblivious to her. I don't know if it's really advances, but... Oh. <laughs> He's the first one to show him show her kindness.
Okay, there. He does like her. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's finally back. This is his chance to redeem himself to her. <laughs> okay, that was a bit too much. It's all down to Kaname? Really? Kaname? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Close, but not like a... Wrong target. <laughs> 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 
っちゃったじゃん仕方ねえなあったち花火買ったから戻ってくるってしゅんちゃんが戻ってくる落としたってバレちゃう親父、玉だお前いきなり殺かみんなで食べ物を一個ずつ買ってた意味がな落としたら後で返せよメリーありゃあんま人のこと言えねえなおだまりの娘がナムナムっていう乗り方はどうなんだよまあでもそのおかげで当たったのかもしんねえしいっかな<笑>そうね<笑>あったち帰ってきたただいまオーマイガーシノウェイ。Is he starting to like her? Hopefully not. Oh my gosh, everybody who likes somebody here. Okay. My gosh, that la the last sequence was very interesting. Kaname looking at、uh, Hisako's older, older sister,、uh, Masaki looking at Chun, and Tachibana Chizuru looking at. Masakiwa. So we do get some romance here and some romantic drama, but it took five, five episodes because obviously this is just slice of life and comedy. Okay, yeah. This is okay. At the very least, we have something now. Okay, that was a very interesting episode. It's the summer festival arc of the show. And as the narrator was Chizuru, we get to see a little bit more of him. Highlighted in this episode, but we also obviously get to. It's not really confirmed, right? But everybody can see it that Masaki likes Shun. And it's surprising actually that Ch Chizuru starts to get feel. I mean, I'm not sure if he actually likes her or maybe he's starting to just see her in that way for now, but 
I don't know if that's going to... Because Shun doesn't really see Masaki in that way. Or at the very least, not yet. And everybody else sees that Masaki looks at Shun that way. Chizuru, on the other hand, has always thought that Masaki is just a bit too too much of a sin that I guess you can say but now being able to see her softer side right he's his heart is probably fluttering anyway so it was a nice episode we get to see some funny moments but mostly just the start of I guess you can say it's a love triangle between between Shun Masaki and Chizuru Although Shun doesn't really like Masaki back, or at the very least, he, he doesn't have any romantic feelings for anyone at the moment and doesn't see her in that light yet. But now we got to see also, or we get, we have an inkling that Kaname must like Hisako's older sister, right? Because he was looking at her endearingly in that last sequence of frames. So yeah, a really nice episode, pretty chill, I guess you can say. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.